I shall give you your reward, Falsa. Valsung. Erda now wants you to find a piece of the Norn's thread. You're already heading in the right direction, but take care. In their kingdom, time is continually confused and, uh, rearranged. The Black of Night is a route to the tomb. Sky Blue is a slow march. The Yellow of Ripe Corn will lead you to youth, but Blood Red may condemn you forever to the powerless state of a newborn baby. Stop your work, Carter. I come from the world of men, and I must speak to you. I see what you are. I know what you want. But I cannot satisfy your wishes. You may only cut one thread here. And that is the thread of your own life. Ha! <laughs> to break it would be to kill yourself. I am son of Sigmund and Sigalinda, the last of the Valsungs. Help me. My sisters, I am a daughter of Erda. Why would I want to help you? We have no need of you to continue our work. Is this a good time to speak with you, Norn? I am waiting for the work of my sisters. You have only a short time to question me. Erda will recognize me if I have a thread of life. Will you let me take one of those that have fallen at your feet? The only thread you can touch without dying is your own. It is one of these near me. But you should know that neither I nor my sisters will allow you to get close to them. Your requests will not be met in our domain, mortal. What did he do? What did he do? Who can see him? Is that you, Verdandi? No! I am waiting for the eye! I am still blind! Skald! Tell us what this noise is! My sisters! I do not have the eye! Where is it? Where is it? It is him! The Valsung! He has broken the eye! He has broken the eye! Skald! Cut his life! Cut his life! Hurry! I am not a man. I am not a dwarf. I belong to both races. I belong to none. Hagen I have for name. Hagen, Hagen! Too weak to be a warrior, too passionate to be a wise man. My only remaining weapon is to lie. 
I am king. I am Jibby Chungan. They fear me and serve me. If they knew my weaknesses, if they knew my loneliness. Sister of a king, half-sister of a wizard, my life is mingled with fear and splendor. My docile heart asks for a strong master who can keep and protect me. Messenger of the God of Battles, the strength of the love that Sigmund avowed to Siglind diverted me from my duty, and I paid the price for it by a long death from which a hero rescued me. A name? Only Mime has a name. Nothing but he exists. What do I have to fear from the world now? I who have reforged my father's sword. I killed Fafner and seized his gold before coming here. Do you think I know fear? Did Siegfried manage to fool the Norns? Oh, yes. But he was not the liar in this story. It was Hagen. Siegfried in Hagen's hands? The wolf defeated by the snake? And what happened? Siegfried returned to the court of the Jibichungens, and from his finger took the ring that Brunhilde had given to him. Hagen made a potion of forgetting from it, and rubbed it into the Valsung's body. He lost his memory entirely, and immediately. Then Gunther spoke to him of a maiden on a rock, whom he wished to make his queen. He gave Siegfried his own helmet, so that, disguised as the king, he could steal the woman away from her solitary refuge. The king's docile puppet, Siegfried, returned to Brunhilde and, wearing the royal mask, brought her back to our vessel. And it is she, my friends, who we are now leading to her cruel nuptials. Brunhilde, maiden of the Hinderfjall. But what will happen when she learns the truth? Be patient. In a short time we shall know. Look, I can see the harbor. Enough. I cannot go any further unless I rest a while. Thirty days of festivities and hunting to honor the wedding of our King Gunther and Brunhilde. Then thirty more days to honor the wedding of Gudrun and Siegfried. You have not finished running yet, my friend. Are you sure about that? I tell you, the veils of mourning will soon replace wedding veils. Have you not noticed how Brunhilde spoke with Hagen for a long time last night? Hagen and Brunhilde? What could they have to talk about? A greedy half-dwarf, anxious to seize the ring that Siegfried snatched from the Valkyrie's finger, and a betrayed woman. What else could they swear to but the death of their mutual enemy? The death of Siegfried? The death? of Siegfried. Come closer, warrior. It is I who rule the tides of Yggdrasil, and wash the oceans over the edges of the world. Erda, whose advice you seek. Erda? 
I do not know that name. What do you want of me? Make yourself a free man, Siegfried. Your childhood was stolen from you by a deceitful god, master of an aged world. He made you his instrument with the sole intention of finding the ring. Wotan refutes the proof. He will forge your fate as a blacksmith forges a sword, only to have his weapon turned against him. And even he cannot fight against the will of the universe. Unfortunately for you, the price to pay was innocence, and the love of parent you never knew. Yes. I see now Mime's Forge and the crows that lifted me away. The River of the Dead. And my father's sword. Fafner, whose blood covers my body. And my one love, Brunhilde, whose gaze cannot heal the suffering of my soul. Brunhilde, who was torn from your memory by an evil spell and who you have now gravely betrayed. Brunhild, who has avenged herself by delivering the secret of your strength to your enemies. Finally, the veil is ripped away, and your final battle approaches. I promise you this. You will fall as a free man, and at the dawn of this new era, whose arrival you announce, you will find a glimpse of what was once refused to you in death. There he is! Kill him! His back is vulnerable, Brunhilde told me. Why do you wish to fight Hagen? By my union with Gudrun, am I not your brother? I would rather put up with a worm as my only family. You've been deceived as easily as a child. She who you brought to Gunter was once your wife and loved you with a perfect love. You betrayed her, and she has given me the secret of your death. I know where your body will accept my blade. What did this man do to deserve such respect? Was he a king? A wise man? Not a king, nor a wise man, nor a child. But all of this, and even more. He was Siegfried, last of the line of the Valsungs. A light for all men, a decree for the gods. The end of one world, the birth of another. Forever, perhaps.